Welcome to the Lidco Clinical Education video series. In this short video, we'll go through how to set up a non-invasive Lidco system. To obtain continuous arterial waveform and hemodynamic values from the fingers. First, power on the Lidco monitor by pressing the button underneath. Then, assemble the necessary accessories, which include a dual finger cuff, a cuff controller, and a cable. Place the small, medium, or large finger cuffs on two fingers as shown. Connect to the cuff controller on the forearm, and connect the controller cable to the Lidco. All the connections are color-coded to make it easy. Now, touch anywhere inside the blue Start New Patient box to begin a new monitoring session. Enter the patient's details like this. Select ID and enter a patient identifier. Check. Then height, weight, and age. Select non-invasive for BP source and you'll notice the green highlight moves to the hand of the mannequin. Press start monitoring and that'll take you to the trend screen. Here, the fourth channel is dedicated to the control of the finger cuffs. So press the green icon with the arrow to begin the signal acquisition process. But here, through the magic of an internal simulator, numerics are immediately presented. Well, the actual signal acquisition process usually takes only about 90 seconds. And you can watch it happen live, but that's a different video. The patient will feel a continuous, gentle counter-pulsation on one finger. And for safety, the cuffs will alternate fingers at designated intervals. The arterial waveform that's created is scaled to values obtained from a recent brachial cuff measurement. That's it for the setup. Now our PulseCo algorithm will analyze the arterial waveform to provide continuous, non-invasive blood pressure, advanced hemodynamics, and guidance regarding fluid volume responsiveness. Here, the cardiac output is shown in red, stroke volume is shown in blue, and systemic vascular resistance is in green. Preload response parameters in the form of stroke volume variation and pulse pressure variation accompanied by heart rate variability can help predict volume responsiveness in some ventilated patients. The controls for non-invasive monitoring in the fourth channel include the red square to stop and deflate, a hand with an arrow pointing to manually change the finger being measured, and by entering new values from the brachial cuff, the scaling process can be repeated at any time. The bar at the bottom details the finger change interval. In summary, clinicians can easily obtain continuous blood pressures and advanced hemodynamic values 100% non-invasively. It's easy to do with Lidco, there are no disposables, and the information provided can help guide clinical decision making. If an arterial line is inserted down the road, the transition is seamless. Thanks for watching this short video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Lidco YouTube channel. We also invite you to visit our website at www.lidco.us where you'll find more videos and other self-learning tools. Stay curious. Bye for now.